Hi guys, um, I wanted to make a video for chess players. Um, it's like you're a chess player, but you don't know anything about Shogi and Shionki, which are actually uh, Japanese chess and Chinese chess. Which one could you try? And uh, you could like it easily. I will make a short presentation about uh, both games and we're gonna discuss about this. So let's start with the rules. Uh, in Shogi, okay, um, it's like in chess, you have the two kings, okay, and the kings are moving like in chess. You have nine pawns and the pawns are moving from just one square and just straight, okay. And they also capture threat. Okay, so it's di very different than uh, in chess. You have one bishop, which is moving exactly like in chess, and you have one rook, which is moving exactly like in chess. Then you have uh, two uh, lenses, and um, it's like lenses are pawns, but with multiple squares. Okay, so for instance. Uh, if I'm there, I can take here, I can take there, okay? So the lenses are moving like pawns, but with multiple squares. The knights are uh, exactly like in chess, but in shogi, they need to go in the direction of the opponent uh, uh, ball, uh, side ball. For instance, here, I can move only there with my knight. Okay, I cannot, I cannot go there, I cannot go back or something. I, I need to go in the opponent direction. You have two um, silver general. Um, the silver general, uh, well... can move like this, they can, well, we cannot see it well, so let's go. Okay, so a silver general can go to the three squares in the front and the two diagonally uh, on the back, okay? You have the gold general, two gold generals, and the gold general can actually uh, move. I think you get it. It's everywhere except the two behind uh, diagonally. Okay. And uh, finally, you need to know something. When a piece rich which is uh, one of the three last rows, then uh, they're going to be promoted. Um, well, the promotions are pretty simple. Gold generals and the king cannot be promoted. And the pawn, the lances, the knights, and the silver generals are promoted in gold generals. And the bishop and the rook are promoted in uh, bishop promoted and, and uh, in, in promoted bishop and in promoted rook uh, and a promoted rook is like a rook but they can they can also move uh, like a king it's a king plus a, plus a rook and a promoted bishop is a bishop plus a king okay so you can move to the eight squares and you can move also like a bishop the same for the rook Okay, uh, that's all. Uh, that's almost all for the rules. Uh, of course, the goal is to checkmate. Okay, but there is also something else in the shogi which make the game a little crazy. The fact w that when you capture a piece, okay, it goes there, and it means that uh, you can drop. You can actually drop the piece you took uh, in your side. Well. Actually, you can't uh, drop a pawn because in Shogi, you can have only one pawn of your color 
per uh, column. So just uh, maybe let's let's just play something like this. Okay, and now I can I can put it there on the check, for instance. Okay. So uh, what can we say about the rules and uh, what gonna be a shoggy game? Then I will give you an example. Well, uh, the first thing we ca we can say. Uh, Shogi is a game which is actually really far uh, from uh, the classical chess uh, you may know. Why? Um, especially for the last reason, the fact of uh, the the fact you can drop everywhere a piece you captured previously will make the game crazy. It's like uh, when you captured enough pieces then you are gonna drop everything on the opponent king and try to just uh, mate him even if you need to sacrifice like uh, one two three four five pieces you don't care if you mate in the end so the shogi will be like this it's like uh, you take some pieces and then you drop everything on the king and also uh, it's like the game cannot be blocked you know for instance in uh, in chess, when you arrive to, you know, let's say, um, a position like this in the middle, the, the pawn, the pawns ca can't move in in standard chess. Okay, it's like it, it's blocked in the middle. This is not possible in Jogi because you, you can you, you can just take <laughs> because the pawns are taking a straight. So it means that you cannot block it, you cannot block anything. You can just always take. And then you drop everything on the on the king and try to mate. So the the, the game is is like uh, you know it, it's 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 crazy. It's 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 absolutely different of chess. I I I I don't even see how far it is because it's like uh, the game is absolutely different uh, than uh, standard chess. Okay. Um, what we can say is also the game will be not so strategic it will be a lot of tactics the, the game will be you know it will be really tactic you will have to find uh, some combinations to to checkmate uh, you're gonna sacrifice many pieces to to checkmate this this will be chess okay it's, it's like uh, in a game you should have a balance between uh, strategic and tactic clearly shogi is more uh, Tactic, tactic game when mm, chess is it's probably balanced between uh, uh, strategic and tactic okay so just let's see uh, just for the example uh, a shogi game I will uh, show this quickly but uh, it's between Komacha and Klomak uh, let, let's uh, let's see this So at the beginning, okay, the players are moving just slowly. Then they start to, to take some pieces. And you're not forced, of course, to drop them. And now it, sta it started. Let, let, let's see this. Okay, so... Uh, black took this piece with his bishop check the pawn can take then he dropped a rook there check white defended with a pawn then he could take this knight and you have the promotion yes when you drop a piece if you drop it directly on the three last row uh, it's not directly promoted you, you need to move uh, to move in so this is why th when the rook is is uh, dropped there it's not a promoted rook but if the rook move one time in the three last row then it will be promoted and look at this then a gold general is dropped there the gold general can take 
and it to check the king move. Then you have uh, a knight which is dropped, probably to to control this uh, square so that the king cannot run. And then you have a drop of silver general check. The king arrive, the the knight arrive, and finally you have a bishop check. And finally, you have another gold general checkmate. So as you can see, uh, black dropped like five or six pieces or, or something like this. Sometimes it drops something and it's directly taken by the opponent, but it's still dropping, dropping, dropping until the mate. So this is a shogi game. Uh, as you can see, if you're a chess player, you, well, you, you, you can recognize maybe some pieces that are moving the same way like uh, the bishop and the rook the knight also but in the in the play in it's it's so different you have almost nothing to use uh, but now we're gonna take we're gonna see uh, shionki and this game is probably more interesting uh for you if you're a chess player so uh, let's see uh, Xiongqi the Chinese uh, chess so in Chinese chess uh, you have uh, five pawns okay in the middle you have the river okay it's a, it's a river and in white you have the uh, palaces and in the palaces you have the two kings and a king cannot uh, leave his palace. Okay. Um, and it's the same from his guards. Uh, the guards cannot leave uh, the palace. Okay, so uh, uh, a pawn move is simple. It's like uh, you just uh, you just go like this, and also you can take um, like in shogi. The difference is when you cross the river with a pawn. The pawn, the pawn is promoted, and then the pawn can go on the left and the right side, but uh, all still straight. Okay. Now you can move on the left and the right. Okay. So this is a promoted pawn. So you have five pawns, and they can be promoted if they cross the river. Okay. Uh, in this game, you don't have. Uh, you, you cannot drop. Okay, the pieces. Well. <laughs> If you take something, you cannot drop it. It's not like shogi. It's like um, standard chess. Okay, so you have five pawns, and uh, they are going straight. And if they cross the river, they are promoted, and then can go on the left and on the right. You have the rook. The rooks are exactly like in chess. Okay, so it's absolutely the the same thing. You have the knight. The knights are not exactly like in chess. They are really different, and it's something which is actually really interesting in uh, in um, in Xiangqi. The knight is also in two one, okay, but you need to first go one square orthogonally and then uh, diagonally so for instance you can go here and here because you because you can go there orthogonally and then there or there diagonally but you cannot go there okay you cannot go there because to go here you should go orthogonally there and then diagonally there but there is a piece here so it's not possible to to go here okay but something which is interesting is uh, let's play let's say uh, let's play something like this if you go there um, okay mm, well let's play this uh, this knight this red knight can take this black knight because he can go orthogonally and then diagonally 
But this, uh, let's say I play this, this black knight cannot take this red uh, knight because he should go orthogonally and then diagonally, but there is a piece, so he cannot do it. So it's really interesting because the knights in Xiangqi uh, are not really symmetric. So it's it, it gives some really uh, interesting strategies. Then you have the elephants. The elephants are well. It's a, it's a def defensive uh, pieces. Uh, the elephants can only go on uh, seven places because the elephants cannot cross the river, and they are moving like this uh, to. Okay, so you can go here, here. They are moving from two squares diagonally, and they cannot cross uh, the river. Okay. So it's a defensive piece. The guard can go only diagonally, and you need to stay uh, in uh, in the palace. And the king can also, uh, well, the king should also stay on the palace and can go only orthogonally this time. And of course, the goal is to checkmate. The only uh, rule you also need to know uh, is the fact that uh, a king Even if he can, if he cannot uh, leave uh, the pass, is like a rook for the other king. So, for instance, uh, here I can move there with my king, but I cannot go there because I would be in check by the other king. So it's forbidden to go there. It's really important because in the end, uh, the king helps to checkmate the other king. Okay, and I. I kept this uh, for the final because, uh, okay, you have two cannons. And this is why I really la like, to be honest, uh, Shanky. The cannons, <laughs> this piece is insane because it's, it's so good. It's so interesting. Uh, the cannons can move exactly like a rook. Okay, so it's exactly like a rook when you move. But when you capture, you need to jump from another piece. So for instance, here, I can directly, if I want, take the knight. I jump over this cannon, and I take this knight. Well, of course, it would be bad, because then the rook can take back the cannon. But for instance, it's a standard opening, well, one of the standard opening in uh, Shionki is to play cannon there, and you directly uh, three to take uh, the pawn in the middle, for instance. And if you play this, okay, this is a check. But surprisingly, the other cannon can play this. Because when I took, I removed the check. Because a cannon need to jump over something to take. So now the cannon is not checking the king. Because the, because the, the piece moved so it's pretty funny to see that to avoid this check i can do this i could also play of course this okay and you have uh, all the rules so of course uh, in this game we can directly see that the game will be more uh, strategic it will be a game which is gonna be you know, a little slow because you're gonna take you're gonna take pieces, but then they're 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 removed. Okay, the the pieces cannot go back in the game like in Shogi, and the pieces are not so good because uh, the, the the main difference between uh, chess is the fact that you actually, you actually don't have any queen, and of course the queen uh, is the easiest. Uh, uh, way to checkmate the opponent uh, in uh, chess. Here, your pieces are not so strong. Le le just let's see. You have the elephants, but the elephants cannot cross the river, so it doesn't help to checkmate. The knights are pretty weak, because uh,
well they are not they are not weak but it's it's like well the, the knight are are absolutely interesting to to checkmate of course but um the fact that you can block them uh, because it's not like you know it's it's not like in chess they they need to go out orthogonally first and so uh, sometimes your knight would do a checkmate but it's not a checkmate because of this rule so the knight is interesting but it's not so easy to use uh, because of the of the rules of orthogonally first so you have the rooks which are actually the best uh, the best piece the best pieces in uh, in Shanky. the two rooks are the best pieces in Shanky. and you have your two cannons and in the end when for instance you you made some exchange like two two rooks uh, were exchanged uh, like uh, i don't know uh, you know in the end you're really going to use the pawns for instance uh, and maybe one knight, one knight, one rook, and one pawn to checkmate. But uh, in Shanky, remember that the king cannot leave the palace, and this is really important because uh, this is how you, you're gonna you're gonna checkmate. Actually, it it won't be too hard too hard to checkmate because the king cannot leave. Uh, the palace and he can move only orthogonally not like in chess you cannot go diagonally with a king so your king is pretty it, it's, it's a really weak piece uh, in shanky and also remember the fact that uh, a king is like a rook for the other king this is really important to i i, I just want to to show you something with uh, with the, the cannons because uh, it's 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 really funny let let play uh, and you will uh, just focus on something uh, okay i'm just moving the okay so um you will focus only on these uh, four pieces okay the the two rooks the cannon and the king Okay. Uh, the, it's imagine all the other pieces uh, are not there. Uh, just just focus on this uh, on these four pieces. How you can uh, win if red play there and uh, black of course make a misplay and try to, to defend like this now you have a move uh, as red so that you're gonna capture the the rook and the knight cannot capture back what is it it's cannon there this move capture the rook why of, of course the rook cannot uh, left there okay and actually you have two attack on the on the rook i can actually take the rook with the cannon and my cannon is still protected uh, by my by my rook so the the king cannot take back so you could say okay but it's simple i can just play rook take but rook take is forbidden because if this if with this rook you take this rook then you're in check by the cannon actually you're not in check because you have two pieces between the king and the cannon but if rook takes rook then you have only one and so you're in check so it's forbidden so the rook cannot take and so in the next move i will just take with the cannon okay so it's really interesting to see that with the cannons you have some tactics and uh, it's in, in in chess we don't have uh, a piece like this and the, i i believe the cannons make uh, the game really uh, interesting so just uh, let's see uh, what is a shanky game let's uh, do this uh, fast 
Okay, so you have this opening. The knights defend uh, the pawn. Okay, let's play. Okay, there, as you can see, the cannon threats the rook. You had an, a cannon's exchange. Okay. Okay. You have a black st started to attack uh, red. So let's see how fast it, it can be because. Uh, it will be really fast. It's like it, it's a mate in four moves. So let's see. Check. You cannot take. So the only move is king in the middle. This is the only move because remember a king cannot move diagonally and uh, cannot leave the, the palace. This is another check. The guards are only moving diagonally. So the guards are useless here. So this is the only move. Only move because you cannot put anything there, so this is the only move. You have another check. And playing this move and checking the king. And now this knight is defending is defended by the cannon. It wasn't defended uh, at the at the moment after this move, uh, the king is threatening to take the knight. But after this move. The knight now is defended by the cannon. And it's check. The king move there, only move, and finally checkmate. As you can see, the fact that the king cannot move diagonally and cannot leave the palace make that you can actually checkmate really fast. Uh, well, so I don't know what do you feel if you're a chess player. Do you prefer to try Shogi or Shionki? Uh, personally, uh, of course, uh, I prefer uh, Shionki uh, by far uh, because I like the fact that Shionki is, uh, you know, more strategic and you have the time to build something. Uh, it's like in ch like chess, but it's quite new for me, and it's uh, really interesting. The fact that you have uh, some knights which are not playing exactly symmetrically, and also the fact uh, that you have these cannons which are so interesting, make the game uh, really nice, I, I guess. And Shogi is a game, well, it's a game which is crazy it's like it's tactics 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 uh drop taking taking then dropping everything on the king and try to mate even if you need to sacrifice like uh, five pieces or something you don't care you sacrifice and you go for the mate um well it, it's clearly not my game because it's not a game where you know you build something. Uh, I, I don't know how to say, but uh, you build something nicely, uh, trying to defend everything, and then trying to get an advantage. It, it's it's more like uh, just go crazily uh, for the mate. Uh, not my uh, not my game. It's not for me. Well, uh, I hope you like the video. And um, if you enjoyed it, uh, don't forget uh, to like and uh, to follow. Uh, see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Ciao.